And welcome back, guys, to more Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. I don't know why I'm doing all this stuff with my hands. In the last episode, we hung out with a bunch of our uh, confidants, and we worked at the convenience store a few times, and it was very fun. But now, we have one day until Haru is sold off. The change of heart will be happening, hopefully, tomorrow. We still can't hang out with you, but I'm trying my best, man. Hey. It's time to clean up. I really want to get Sojiro done. Well, then. Oh. Gotta get him up. Just gotta get it up one time. Can we start this episode with a bang? Come on. Come on, man. It's always when I want something to go up, it goes up. Here we go. Big day. 92%. Sorry for messaging you all this early in the morning. It seems my father will be holding an urgent press conference. I guess the cleaner finally had his change of heart. Seems like it. That has to at least lift some of the burden on Haru's shoulders. For real? Congrats. When is it going to be when is it going to be? 8 p.m. tonight. I wonder if he'll talk about the mental shutdowns. Where should we watch it? Why don't we get together beforehand? Sounds good. I don't really have a reason for meeting up, but it still might prove beneficial. Anyway, how does the Shujin Academy rooftop sound? I actually happen to have some business up there. Sounds good to me. It's been ages since I was last there. Wait, the school? Futaba, make sure you come in through the front entrance. See you all there after school. Hmm? Wait, where's Yusuke? He's still asleep at this point. He's definitely going to be late for school. Hope he's okay. That's weird. I don't remember that. Game. Don't be doing some weird shit. One week left until exam. Fuck. You'll have no problems if you've been studying regularly this semester. That aside, Akumara Foods has been a hot topic lately. How much media coverage must be worth at least 10 million yen? At first... I even thought that all this outcry was just some kind of elaborate marketing campaign. I guess it's giving them too much of a bad image to be that, though. Advertising and public image are more important than anything else for a corporation. Are you familiar with the psychological test using these images? The idea is to give the two shapes names appropriate to their appearance. Amamiya-san. that the Nickelodeon symbol? People <laughs> were asked uh, to name one of these shapes Boba and the other one Kiki. Which name is mostly ascribed Shapey? It's Booba. This is it. That's correct. Most people named B Booba and A Kiki. Sharp sounds like K and T are linked to a, a spiky image. According to one theory, sounds and shapes are processed in the same area of the brain. Furthermore, this sense is the same worldwide. No matter the language, the result is the same. Wow, really? Amamiya-kun oh, seems kind of smart, doesn't he? Yeah, it must be smart to answer a question like that. Come on, let's do this. After school. Lunchtime? Fuck. Alright, that's it for today. It's finally lunchtime. Man, I'm really in the mood for some bread Ooh, today. Ooh, carbs. Hey... Can I speak with you for a moment? So about Dr. Maruki's counseling, you've already gone to see him, right? I have. I see. That's good then. I'm sure you're aware, but Dr. Maruki's term here will be ending pretty soon. The higher-ups told me to make sure you've received adequate counseling. Be sure to visit him so you don't bring any unwanted attention to yourself, okay? Counseling, eh? But anyway, let's go get lunch. Bring on the yeah. bread! Uh, senpai, so nice to see you. Have you been? I've been doing quite well. Are you also about to eat lunch, Senpai? If it's all right with you, would you mind eating together? Good idea. Ugh. How nice to see you two together. Oh, would you like to join us for lunch, Dr. Maruki? 
We were just discussing eating together. Are you sure? Well, maybe I will tag along then. Um, is that your lunch, Yoshizawa son? Right. Well, she is an athlete. That doesn't really. <laughs> to eat this much to stay active. I always burn through everything I eat. From my point of view, it's your two lunches that are the issue here. If you're going to strengthen your body, you have to eat right. You should really work on your diets. <laughs> Touche. And you're right, yours does look nutritious. You know, you seem to be giving off a different vibe lately. Yes, I was able to put my problems in the past and move on. Ah, so that's what it is. You don't seem to be overexerting yourself either. I'm sorry I'd worried you. Oh, not at all. It's wonderful to hear how you've been. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised. If you don't mind my asking, was there some kind of reason for this breakthrough? Well, it's all thanks to him and his acquaintances. I suppose you could say they gave me a reason to rethink things, or... More like, a reason to stand up to my problems. Huh. Isn't that right, Senpai? That's right. Stand up to your problems, eh? You've grown to be very strong, Yoshizawa-san. Mm-hmm. I'm totally over it now. Sorry for talking so much. Why don't we focus on our lunches? Thanks for the food! Ah. Oh. I forgot. I have P.E. next. I should get going. Please excuse me. Yoshizawa-san really does seem to have found her footing. She seemed absolutely tormented about her situation just the other day. I have to say, this drastic change has really knocked me for a loop. Perhaps the Phantom Thieves changed her heart? Okay, so I thought the music changed. I was like, whoa, anything's possible. <laughs> I was just joking. Looks like time's up. You should head back to class as well. See you around. See you, Maruki. Very soon. Hmm. Interesting. You want to meet up on the rooftop after school, yeah? Rooftop? What is this about? Oh yeah, you weren't there. Can you come to our school rooftop after your classes end? I don't quite understand what is going on, but sure. Is Haru at school? I'm heading over now. Things are a little hectic this morning. I'll be there before classes end for the day. That reminds me, your flower bed is on the rooftop. Flower bed? That's right, the season is good. So I'm thinking of transplanting them sometime soon. Flowers are an excellent hobby. I will gladly assist you. We'll help too. Really? Thanks! Alright, I'll see you all after school. Alright, can we get to after school now? Like, Jesus. Thank you. Let's do this. So you're the one who grew these, senpai. <laughs> you can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're oh. here. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. 
The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a Whoa. night party at Destinyland? By Destinyland, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about the Destiny Land, right? They're talking about Disney, but they can't say it. Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. What the heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work! You're really gonna have it at Destinyland? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane! Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we cancel the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this. We'll just celebrate twice as hard today. I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. So, uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? <laughs> it seems like we'll be having our celebration at Destinyland tonight. Woo! No way. Hmm, that was delicious. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. Who would have thought that Persona 5 would have Mickey and Goofy in it? Look at Futaba. Tell me that's not supposed to be Goofy. Come on. I love that. Oh, it's so great. Oh. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with a view. The VIP life is incredible! Hell yeah. Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams! Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. <sighs> you say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. Ryuji, you're the adult. Well, yeah, but... Whoa, look at you being all obedient. Is the Destinyland charm rubbing off on <laughs> you? <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well, but given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This will really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? <laughs> See, you are getting too excited. And that party will be for me! Still, how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. 
I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Father... Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Yes. I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers. About that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Okuma san Right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Monachan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. You're right. We followed all the same steps. We made sure we just took the treasure, too. <sighs> I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the Shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is... the same. I remember now. It's just like... what happened to my mom? So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um, I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today... I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? <laughs> That's... <coughs> this is just a hypothesis. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, 
But I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai son. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. Did you see the news? Ah, oh, shit. Fuck, that's a long time I don't want that to happen. This, that was gruesome. Wish they put some sort of warning on the video. They said President Okumura died. Really? Whoa, you're right. I just saw a news report about it. Yeah. So about Haru's dad, uh, the news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No. Haru. Why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shock could kill a person. Haru did mention how her father wasn't in the best of health, but for him to just up and die? This has got to be some kind of joke. Are we responsible for his death? But I thought it was supposed to be fine as long as we didn't kill their shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? It should have been okay. It should have been. He said it should have been okay. Yeah, there's no point getting mad at Mona for this. I heard the same thing too, you know? In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public but keep Haru in our minds. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing, but what are we supposed to do from here on out? Haru's going to be fine, right? Buddy, I hate to tell you this, but probably not. Let's go to bed. What in the world's going on? Go to sleep. Go into the velvet room. I told you this is where the story gets good. Uh -oh. On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. What happened? Who knows? However, don't you sense it? The malicious will of another. It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. I feel my bond with Igor is growing deeper. Rank 9, dude. Holy shit. Alright. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. <sighs> that drop, though. Is that true? Did you hear? 
Akumara died. It's all over the news. He collapsed during his press conference, right? I wish I'd been watching when it happened. You're probably better off. It was a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack would be so unsettling. The news says it was because of illness, but either way, you spin it, still bizarre. Damn, wish I'd seen it live. Poor Haru. Listen, and in this son, age, okay? proletarian literature that is, literature written by the working class. Did you see that interview? I thought it was going to be some hidden camera show at first. I was so scared I changed the channel. He really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. Will you quiet down? We're in class right now. Not to mention, you have midterms starting on Monday. Focus on studying. Poor Haru. Oh my god, she's going to have to do that next? Things are getting pretty bad. Hmm, it seems police have shown up at our school. The police? What for? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this? Nothing at all. Could this be related to Akumara's death in some way? But there's no connection between our school and Akumara Foods. Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. Then seriously, what are they here for? I can't even begin to fathom the reason. Anyhow, let's be particularly careful not to stand out and head straight home once school ends. Understand that, everyone? Understood, ma'am. After school. <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. <sighs> we were hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking, huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. Yes. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. Principal? No one told me about that. Now Haru is starting to doubt us. That's not good. So basically, your group didn't go after Okumura's life. And even the death of Shujin's principal, who we found a calling card for, was the work of another. You don't sound like you're lying. If you wanted to deceive me, you could have easily woven up a much simpler lie than this metaverse. Moreover, your account coincides with my own investigation. Is that even possible if it were made up? And I hate to admit, but with my line of work, I know a false testimony when I hear one. Still, if you set your sights on Okumura based on my intel, it'd be before his name was even ranked. You could have ignored him and targeted some other famous person. Why would you go so far as to further investigate and pursue this criminal? My teammate was in danger. <laughs> Simple enough. There's still no proof that another suspect exists. That said, it's safe enough to say that you aren't the murdering type. All right. But with the subsequent deaths of Okumura and Shujin's principal, the public's opinion changed. Pressed to prove your innocence, your next objective was... Hmm? What's the matter? <gasps> Is it a side effect? What in the world did the police inject into you? Hey, hey, hey can you hear, you hear me? me? You need to stay focused! <sighs> Don't scare me like that. If what you're saying is true, you must tell your side of the story to the end. We'll both be in trouble if your testimony becomes unreliable. <sighs> well then, 
Let's move on. At last we arrive at your most recent crime. You know what I mean, don't you? This calling card was delivered to your latest target. The one you had decided would prove your innocence. It was addressed to Sai Nijima. Myself. Now, explain everything to me. I got chills, they're multiplying, and I'm losing control of oh, the power you're personing. It's electrifying. Like, Izanagi, Persona 4. Alright. Has anyone been able to contact Haru? I'm worried about her. No luck here. Me neither. She won't pick up. It doesn't look like she's seen any of our chats either. I'm worried about her. I hope Haru's okay. Me too, buddy. But we're not going to find out until tomorrow. So, thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Sainijima's next. What's going to happen? I don't know. I wonder what her palace is going to be. Surely has nothing to do with the beginning of the game. So, thank you guys for watching. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the flip side in the next episode of Persona 5 Royal.